Well, about that pit road contact, Lance. Uh, I'm gonna see how much damage it did to the 86. Ooh. And uh, does have, there's a couple of marks on the side there. Have a look what happens. Watch the uh, top center of your screen, how it hits the 86. Oh, the 27 coming out. The Coyola Stewards aren't doing anything about it, but Alexis Rainsford was called to the hole after the race, along with crew chief Mike Ross. Oh boy. Lewis Kingston, the 84 car, did not pit. There's the restart. Todd Wodarczyk, the 80, uh, 37 car, sorry. The Miller Light car, the blue car, moving on Kingston's inside. Famous tree camera. And another one. Wodarczyk's got the edge. Leonard going for second. The, that red and white car, Leonard will take second. And now Kingston, the 84 Dropping a lot of spots right now. He's going to get a challenge from McGlynn, and now Justin Brooks will be hounding him in the 31. And there's old Mike Whitmore back there in the sixth spot in that 73. I'd watch out for him. Leonard looking after Wadarshik now. Leonard is got off the line extremely well in that 02 car. Well, and Marcus is fast. He's fast. On board Alexis Rainsford in the 27 car. She's dropped his ball. Look at Lauren Roth. Who has been, we haven't talked about him much, but he has been the fastest car on the track during the, some of those past green flag laps. The 39 cars are right. He just went right by Alexis Rainsford. And yellow flag's out. We got a car on the wall. It's a yellow car. It's. Oh, Scott Bates. Oh. The winner in Russia last year. Oh, Scotty. Let's see what happened here. A little contact with Ryan Naraki. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. I saw the one car back there, but well, good news is Scott Bates climbed out of the car under his own power and climbed over the wall, so he's all right. But Ashik's going to lead them back to the green flag, but Scott Bates, this has not been his best track. He uh, he qualified all the way in the back of the grid. Last year he qualified very well, but uh, this has just not been his year. Now he is all the tracks he's had the fastest car on. He has crashed out or something, except for of course Daytona, a track which he is the master at. He's never won a race, but he's still considered the master of Daytona. Now, if this is why the one car is back there, I see Navarro back there. Do you have something to do with it? Yep, looks like the 03 car gives Nosova a shove. Ricky Navarro has made a lot of enemies this weekend. In fact, he and Paul Lyons were running each other off the course about three or four times during practice. Navarro has not exactly made any friends out here. In fact, uh, there were a couple drivers who I will, whose names I will keep anonymous who said that they wanted Navarro parked for the weekend. Todd Rodarczyk is in the lead, Marcus Leonard in second. Stephanie McGlynn in car number six running in third. That six car also very fast. We'll step out for another commercial break and hopefully we'll get in more than one green flag lap. Go now, if you want it, I'm not a water break. 